Okay, so yesterday, um, I was telling you guys about a dream I had of Beyonce about two, three weeks ago. Um, and a very important fact that I left out of part one of that dream was that, so let's revert the dream for those that did not hear it the first time. I had a dream um, about two weeks ago. I had a regular dream, but in the mix of this dream, I got a vision of Beyonce and um, her sinful wickedness. And by that, I mean, I was just dreaming a regular dream. And all of a sudden she popped up and she was laying down, laying down flat as if she was about to have sex with her legs open, like basically showing her vagina. But there was like a little piece of costume or metal covering the part of her vagina but it was basically open for the public to see and she was laying there basically half naked but with a little piece of something covering a part of her breast too if you know this lately uh all her pictures are like she's like half naked or almost naked or just very dressed provocative if dressed at all like barely dressed so in this one she was trying to be like half robot like trying to represent a robot. So her costume was kind of robot, but her costume was very skimpy, like a part of a metal over one breast, a part of a metal over her vagina and her legs were open as if she was, she was laying down as if somebody's ready to have sex with her uh, legs open. But the thing about it was she had people lined up laying down with her. She had men, uh, I think it was men and women. But I, I know there was some white men laid there with their legs open the same way. And the spirit behind this, I don't know if it was an album cover, if it was a video, I don't know what she was doing, but it was some type of propaganda for her wickedness and this strong spirit of lust and this delusion of gender equality, meaning... The men were lying beside, it was like men and women, I think, but the men were lying beside her with their legs open um, like a man ought not to be lying. Like that was only a position that a woman should do when she's ready to be intimate with her husband. And so these men were doing the same position. Uh, those men were in the same position as a woman ready to open her legs to a man. And um, it's this spirit of delusion of gender equality that men can be a woman and a woman can be a man. And so as she was there with that spirit of lust um, with her legs open, basically showing her vagina to the public, but it had like a little piece of metal or costume representing the robot because they was kind of dressed as robots with their little skimpy like part of, I don't know if they had part of this uh, eye covered or I know she had a part of her breast covered with metal part of her vagina and her legs were wide open and it was basically like she was showing her vagina but she had a little piece of something covering I guess some part of it up but it was basically just like oh this is my vagina here world and uh, like a little piece covering this breast too but she was basically almost naked Basically, she was naked with little pieces of robot things covering different parts of her and her legs was open. And these men beside her, men and women, they was all laid down in a straight row, um, flat on the ground with their legs open and um, with these robot skimpy naked costumes on, like half naked with pieces of metal. Like um, they were trying to be like robots, but it was them being lustful, wicked, and abominable in Sodom and Gomorrah. And again, there was this delusion of gender equality that a man can be laying in a way he ought not to lay as a woman. It was the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know if there was a future video shoot, a future album cover, but it was just showing me how wicked Beyonce is. Obviously, if you're in the if you're in the will of God, you can see the spirit of wickedness and pride and lust and blasphemy in Beyonce. And what stood out in this dream that I didn't mention the first time, because I said how she was basically naked and she was basically showing her vagina, her legs was open. I forgot to mention that it was people laid out on the ground with her, men and women. And these men were laid with their legs wide open too, like a female is the strong delusion of the spirit of, like I said, gender equality of Sodom and Gomorrah, that a man can be a woman. Um, like he had a vagina, you know, I don't know if maybe because I don't remember seeing any testicles so i don't know if maybe these men undergo these wicked surgeries to remove their testicles to try to build a fake vagina which we know that you can't rebuild like whatever god gave you he gave you the doctors if they choose to cut up and do all this they can do all that but you still won't be a woman if they try to give you a vagina it still won't work because it's not a real vagina god gave you a, a, a dingling that's what you have if god gave you a vagina that's what you have you can you i don't want to say you can because 
you should you should not do these surgeries they still are not going to give you what god did not give you and even if they do it's still not going to work right you're still not going to be able to actually have sex if you're a man with the man like you're a woman because you're not but there was that delusion in that vision with beyonce and these men laid out with their legs open like they were a woman too and clearly their face they look like a man they i don't remember them having no makeup because they had like short hair you knew it was a man but they was like I think they were dressed like her. Like, it's this, um, I don't know if they call it queer or whatever they call it, but you know it's a man, but they dress like they, I won't say all the way dressed like a female, but you just know it's a gay guy. That's what it was. And his legs was open like he was a female. And like I said, I don't remember seeing testicles. So maybe he underwent a surgery. So there's delusion. There's this spirit of delusion in that vision with Beyonce and what she was representing that, oh, a man can be a woman or, oh, a man can have sex with a man. You know, there's this delusion in the media and in the world. And it's this side I mean, Gamora lie that a man is a woman, a woman can be a man, or you can be whatever you want to be. And um, I only bought that up because I remember a clip on YouTube where Beyonce was like, I want to thank the God of queers or gays or some crap like that. And um, I just want to warn y'all that Beyonce is not saved. Beyonce is on her way to hell. She sold out to Satan. She sold out to hell. And in order to get fame and fortune and stay um, popular these days and to stay loved by people, you have to rock with uh, the gay people. You have to rock with that. And if you don't rock with that, they're going to blackball you. They're going to out you. And that's not even just in Hollywood. That's, it's just like on your job. If you say something against a gay marriage or whatever they want to call it, because I don't never say LGBTQ. I don't give it no cute nickname. I call it what it is. And that's sin. Sodom and Gomorrah, homosexuality. I don't come up. It's like coming up with a cute nickname for child molesters or murderers. They don't get a cute nickname. So I give gay people a cute nickname. Sin is sin. Like, I'm not going to submit to your lifestyle because you think I should. I'm going to stand on the word of God. So Beyonce has sold her soul out to Satan. And in doing that, she has bowed to the gay agenda. She is a part of it. She, she, the elites have to represent that in order to stay relevant. And if they don't, they're going to blackball them. Oh, in my opinion, I guess black ball is when they out you, they kick you out. I don't know if they try to kill you. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they evil. And I say all that to say, if you're Christian and you're listening to Beyonce, you need to stop. Especially if you're trying to get closer to God and you're trying to come to God and get out of the world. Or maybe you backslid. I don't know what the case is, but you need to let Beyonce go. Again, the spirit in this vision that I gave, because I was just dreaming and all of a sudden Beyonce popped up with her legs open, showing her vagina. But it was like they were dressed as robots. But these men had this delusion that they were females, too, or that they can act like a female, too, laying in a way they that a man ought not to lay. In the Bible, the scripture tells us that um, Israel sinned in that the men started to exchange their natural feelings for other men and the woman likewise for other burned in their lust one for another or it says it the opposite way the woman tried to exchange their feelings for men for women and the men burned in their lust for one uh, one for another and he said this ought not to be but he said he gave them over to a mind of reprobation because they did not listen they were going to their flesh. They kept rebelling against holiness and the spirit of God, telling them to turn from worshiping idols and all sin. And we know that God is against homosexuality and all sin. People say sin is sin. The difference about this sin is it lies. The thing about fornication is a blessing can come out of it. A child can come out of fornication. A blessing can come out of rape. A child can come out of rape. God sends his spirit some there's no good thing that can come out of homosexuality, and that is why it's an abomination. It is a complete lie against God. A liar is also an abomination. The Bible says six things are an abomination, yea, seven things I hate, or it says the opposite. If you Google that, matter of fact, we was just in it. It's Isaiah something, I believe. If you Google those words, it'll pop up. So there are abominations. Yes, sin is sin, but there are some sins that are greater than the other. And that is what homosexuality is. It is what it is. It's an abomination. It's a complete lie. It's filthiness. I say all that to say that was a, that was the spirit in that Beyonce vision. A spirit of not just lust, because Beyonce has a strong spirit of lust. She's seducing men and women with her beauty and with her body strong spirit of lust these days and she's older so now i guess to stay relevant she's just like naked on every picture or darn near naked on every picture and just seducing people with her witchcraft but she's using her beauty and her music and her body to do it secondly um she's rocking with the gay agenda 
whatever you want to call it, she's rocking with this Sodom and Gomorrah agenda. And that spirit was this delusion that men could act like women. A man can't sit up there and open his legs and have a man come inside of him because he don't have a whole vagina. He, I don't care what surgery they have. It's not going to be sex because you're still a man. The thing ain't going to work right because God didn't give you a vagina. They can try to rebuild and play God, but they can't. It's an abomination. So I'm telling y'all to turn from Beyonce, especially if you're saved or Christian. You should not be listening to her. She is leading souls to hell. She's rocking with all types of witchcraft, all types of sin, uh, this Illuminati with Jay-Z, homosexuality, and, and every other spirit that we don't even know. So run, flee from her. Turn from her beauty. Turn. It says the Bible talks about um, a woman that she entices with her words. That's Beyonce. She says, "Come into me." That's Rihanna. Uh, uh, come stand under my umbrella. Come on, come into me. There's no distance in between. The Bible talks about these. If you look at the scripture in the Bible, I think it's in the King, the Songs of Solomon. It tells you that this woman is beautiful. Her her words drop like honey. She was like, "Come into me. Let's lay on the bed. Let's have sex. I done decorated the bed." But it say her feet go down to hell, and that's what Beyonce feet. Go down to hell. Rihanna feet go down to hell. All these Aaliyah, Selena, all these beautiful people, but they were not saved. They're in hell burning. And if Beyonce don't repent, if Rihanna don't repent, if all these celebrities that y'all are following that do not, that are not born again, I don't care how they want to thank God for these songs that are against God, that is not God's will. There's no kind of holiness. It's filthiness and abomination. Jesus loves a person, but he hates his sin. So if these people, I had a pop tart, I'm not doing no Illuminati sign. If these people don't repent, they're going to hell. So God is warning us because if not, we will allow them in any other sin, just ourselves, if we don't surrender to God, um, just the flesh to lead us to hell. So he wants you to repent and to come and turn away from following the ways of Beyonce and everything wicked that she has become and that she represents. A man cannot be a woman. A woman cannot be a man. He ought not be laying like a woman and, and vice versa. This whole gender neutral crap. There's no such thing. A man is a man is a woman is a woman. I don't care what they feel or how confused they feel. Your identity is in Christ. And if you're not in Christ, you're not in truth. You're in falsehood. You're in lie. And everything that makes a lie cannot enter into heaven. That's why the Bible says, be ye not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, or liars, neither effeminates, as homosexuals, or anything else that makes a lie cannot make it to heaven. And it also says, what else was that? It was another scripture that came to my mind. Unless a man is born again of the word and spirit, he cannot enter heaven. When we're just in sin and we're not in Christ, we're in a lie. We're in the identity that Satan has for us. We're just doing what feels good to our flesh. And the, the Bible says from the heart proceeded fornication, blasphemy, murder, jealousy, envy. And that's why David came back and said, creating me a clean heart, renew a right spirit in me. And the Lord said we ought to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Because just when we, it says we're born into sin, when he ate the apple, Adam, whatever the fruit was, sin came into the world, gave us a choice. Therefore, we were all born into sin after Adam and Eve's fall. That's why Jesus came and died for us, that by his blood, if we turn to him, that we might have life. If we take if we take him, if we come to him, if we be born again, if we learn of him, if we turn from our sin, if we say, Lord, I am a sinner, but save me. If we humble ourselves and that there is it of the water and of the spirit, that water baptism and being filled with the Holy Spirit, which Jesus freely gives to those wags. And she killed. So, Beyonce is wicked. She just popped up in my dream. I, I'm not obsessed with her. I don't listen to none of her music. I got delivered from her, I think, back in 2014. That was my last time listening to Beyonce because I used to love Beyonce. But I got delivered from her finally. I struggled with it. I knew I was supposed to let go of all secular music because I used to love R&B and I had to let go. Anyway, I got delivered. My last song listening to her and Jay-Z was, I want to thank you for the money, for the power. And if I want to say thank you in case I don't thank you enough. I kept playing and playing. I was like, man, this, you know, I used to love this song. Then demons just flew off this song to my heart. And the devil was just trying to attack me. It was like a spirit of witchcraft hit me from that song. I got in my closet. I repented. I said, Lord, I'm, 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 if I got to give up secular music, I will. Whatever it is, but get my mind. Like, I almost snapped. Like, demons literally flew off that song. I had a whole spiritual attack because I kept playing that song over and over. That's how I knew that Beyonce and Jay-Z and them was wicked because I already knew that. I just struggled with I never really liked him because I knew he led her the wrong way. But eventually, I had to give her up, too. And I just say all that to say repent. Like, yo, Beyonce's made her bed. She ain't Christian no more. She used to at least be Christian. This girl is sold out to Satan. 
homosexuality, fornication, pride, everything against God. Repent. No, we okay. Sin it may be sin, but the truth is, homosexuality is an abomination. Lying is an abomination. Pride is an abomination to God. Anything false is an abomination. Feet that hands that shed innocent blood is an abomination. So people that could think it's okay to be abortion to commit abortions, that's an abomination to God. God hates hands that shed innocent blood. You just killing innocent babies thinking it's your choice. Oh, it's my body. No, it's not. You belong to God. We don't borrow time. None of us are our own. Even if we choose not to serve Christ and we serve in a whole nother God, we still belong to Jesus because he's the only true God. We own borrow time. So even if you like a lot of these women, oh, I'm going to commit abortion. It's my body. You're going to have to pay for it in hell. Like <laughs> they don't know that every time they commit an abortion, when, if you don't repent, if you don't repent, because God forgive. But if you don't repent, when you go to hell, them demons going to be stabbing you in hell with spears for every baby you kill. And you're going to be on spears. That's why I watch Heaven and Hell Revelation. Everything you do on earth that you don't repent for, you have to pay for in hell. And these people don't know that because they're blinded by Satan. I say all that say, repent, turn from Beyonce and turn from all sin and turn to Christ while you yet have time. My room is a mess. I'm packing and stuff. Mm. But anyway, repent. Beyonce is evil. Beyonce is wicked. Do not bow to her, to the gay agenda, to any sin, to fornication. To we need to repent. We need we need God to not turn to those sins, to not give in to the temptations, whatever we may be struggling with, or whatever the devil is trying to entice us with, or whatever our lust, our own lust is trying to tempt us with. Jesus saves. And if you don't want Jesus, then that's between you and him. But he's giving warning so that you won't be lost forever because hell is real. And the only way to escape the fire is to be born again. So the choice is yours. But here's the warning. Turn from Beyonce and every other sin because they are leading to everlasting hell fire. I had a vision of hell and it was terrifying. I couldn't even look. I was so terrified. And no, I'm not perfect, but I'm striving to be. I am saved. I'm trying to work on my mouth. I'm trying to work on my attitude. But at the end of the day, I can fail people. People can out me. They can cancel me. They can kick me out. They can fire me. I'm sold out for Christ. I'm a zealot for God. It doesn't matter if I was homeless, living in a box. I'd still be preaching the gospel on the street because my mind is made up to serve God. John the Baptist wasn't fancy looking. He stood in sheep's clothes, wolf's clothes, hairy clothes, crazy looking. Out there telling people to repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's the spirit I have. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care if you fire me. Because at the end, I'm going to make it to heaven. And all that matters is what God thinks about me. And if I did what he told me to do. And in this world, it's a price to pay if you go against the world. And even if it meant taking my life, I'd have eternal life with Christ. So I don't care if they cancel me. Because I speak against homosexuality, I speak against fornication, I speak against black, black lives matter, I speak against these things. Because so the statement is true, but the movement is demonic. This is absurd. This is crazy to go against culture. But guess what? The kingdom of God does not line up with the culture of this world. They are at odds. They are enemies. You cannot have fellowship with God and bow. Light and darkness don't mix. Only way darkness is going to come to light is if it want to be reproved. That's why they rejected Jesus. They didn't want to be reproved. They love their sin more than God. So they killed him. He laid down his life. The choice is yours, but you need to repent. Jesus stands at the door. Behold, he knocks. And if you don't answer, when you get to hell, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. Because the gospel is going out. And you don't hurt. I don't care if you're Muslim, if you're atheist, if you're Catholic. You don't hurt it some kind of way. He going to send somebody before you die so that you have a chance to turn from whatever your sin is to Jesus. I was born and raised in church and the devil tried to tell me, no, nah, heaven and hell ain't real. Well, how you know you had the truth? I had to learn the word for myself. And then I heard demons speak for myself and I said, well, shoot, if demons are real, then I know God is real. I seen a demon for myself. So if devil and de demons exist in heaven exists, God, I already know God exists. I've been knowing that. So this ain't no fake stuff I'm talking about. This is a spiritual world. And the only way to heaven, it's not multiple avenues. You can't get there through Buddha, through Allah, through Mary, through saints. Only Jesus. He is the only name under heaven whereby the man can be saved. No other book can get you to heaven but the Bible. I know it's contrary to popular belief. It splits and divides people and people don't like that because you say it's only one way and you got to step on their toes and tell them what they got is false. But the choice is yours because Jesus is love. It's his love that wants you to turn from sin or whatever that false God is 
even yoga, even zodiac signs, all this stuff is witchcraft. That meditation, that stuff is sin. People don't even know that Christians talking about zodiac signs, that's witchcraft. Christians talking about doing yoga, that's witchcraft, that's meditation. Getting in line with demons. But this stuff is a part of the culture. And see, when you fully come into Christ, you're going to go against the culture. And they're going to cancel you. But in the end, you shall have a crown. Remember that. Repent.